Hello, hi, how are you? We're gonna talk about the full moon. Everything's breaking. Broken pieces, broken people, broken systems, broken ancient old traumas and fears. Yeah, really ancient. Look around you, people are feeling it. If anything, they're feeling a bit short-tempered. So how do you get rid of these old traumas and fears? This is root stuff. Like this goes so deep into history. It's sometimes otherworldly, so to speak. So what you're going to be seeing is uh, breaking away. Maybe you want to break away. Maybe you're filled with disgust or trepidation or hesitation or fear, anxiety. You're going to see rising and intense emotions around people. And how do you navigate this? And how do you navigate it as an ascending person and not let it pull you back in? If you've ever seen The Godfather, Godfather 3, where Michael, the main character, he is trying to break with all of the stuff. And he's like, no matter what I do, it keeps pulling me back. What do you have pulling you back? What have you had in review during your retrograde that you're not attending to? What is it? What have you had that you feel like everything's trying to throw up an obstacle in your path and you cannot get to where you're going? Okay, or do the next parts of your ascension. Or if you're like a lot of people, are you still wondering why you're in separation? Let me say something about separation. A lot of people think they're doing the work if they eat right and they, you know, do some yoga or something like that. It takes a lot more than that. I make it easy to do it, but it takes a lot more than that because in these cycles, these are cycles of unplugging and they will be very prominent at things like full moons, retrogrades and new moons. If you're a female, how are you getting all of your empress energy back just so you could Create your life and live your life in separation so that you're coming to that convergence point. There is a convergence point this year. Are you going to be in that wave of people that comes together? Have you positioned yourself properly? Have you aligned yourself? The stars are aligning. Have you aligned yourself? And furthermore, what are you getting rid of and what do you need to unplug from? There's a lot of things that are dying out. The old ways are dying out. They just are. I mean, they're not suitable for modern times. And a lot of people are confused. Here's how this works. Instead of confusion, you need to be able to tap in and tune in to your personal guidance and energy. Because when you go through these kind of energies, guess what? Even if you have spirit guides, they may be backing up like people who've been teaching you to swim and being like, okay, swim a little bit. What are you feeling? What can you discern? You have to deepen your discernment. Otherwise, you're really going to be lost in this because it's not about us and them anymore. This You really have to make it about yourself. Navigate yourself. Get your proper guidance. Get your discernment going because deep discernment will tell you you know, who really is not your twin flame because they're not going to serve you any earthly purpose. And probably they haven't for a long time. Or it will be health issues because you might have things that are your ancestors, your ancestry, your genetic DNA, or things that come up. And how do you not know that maybe you're the one in the family who can now finally address this thing. How do you not know that there maybe is some medical support for you or some other form of thing? Or what I do, energy healing, integration of the new light body that doesn't want to hold those things anymore. And this is the thing that people don't understand. Your nerves are not in control. So if things are on your nerves, we have to unplug that. Your nerves actually can only create new neural pathways and new connections with your light body. It's your light body and your high heart energy, your 5D heart, your 5D love that alchemizes it and makes it so. Makes it so that it is able to create new, like really just create a whole new 
set of nerve pathways. So what if there was like a broken link in the chain somewhere? You can do this. And I've had people do it. And I've done it. And I've had the medical results to prove it. So healing is possible in this time, even though there's a lot of intensity, even though there's a lot of high emotion, even though there's a lot of frustration and disgust and I don't know, other, you know, possibly violence. And let's look at this. Okay, everyone, so like people in power, they want to push it down. And then that gets pushed down and then that gets pushed down and then it gets down to the women and the children and then the children they grow up to do certain things and then maybe they're you know we have these vicious cycles that just are not serving a purpose anymore which came first the addictions or you know the uh trouble that made people want to become addicted or trauma did you have the trauma first and then you became addicted well, by now, addiction, addictions run in families and people do have addictive tendencies and behaviors. They have reactions and it can be nipped in the bud. It's important. Why are you so important? Because you're the first people on the planet who can literally funnel in the 5D love that it is going to take to fix some of this stuff. Not just heal it, but fix it. And that's what I do. I reconnect you to that level so that you can. Stop taking it out on others. If you have intense emotion, it's your triggers are your responsibility. You have to be able to do that. I'm going to start writing that on some of the comments because if what I'm saying, which is very truthful, I mean, if you can't handle the truth, then okay, know what your triggers are. If you're getting triggered, what are you going to do about that? I mean, you're not going to come to Chicago and confront me or something like that. I mean, that's just, it's just not feasible. And sometimes it's just not going to help. But that doesn't mean that you don't get triggered, right? So what do you do about the triggers? What do you do if you're in a toxic workplace, toxic home environment, toxic marriage, and your soul is trying to move you along? Okay, it's important. Don't take this out on other people. Work it. You work it most easily by doing the work, twin flame body work, twin flame reconnection work through my modality. This is, I'm going to tell you, while it's not easy and it might be uncomfortable, this is one of the easiest things and ways to do it. There's a way, there's instructions, there's sensible guidance. There is a workbook with instructions and, you know, things in there to help you. What else about this full moon? Well, it's commonly called the blossom moon or the pink moon because the first blooms of the season are coming out in the northern hemisphere. And why is that important? Because those are the fruits in a couple months. You're going to find that this season goes very quickly. You're going to be into May and then you're going to be looking at flipping the solstice and longest day of the year until it starts getting short again. You're in a time acceleration. What are you going to best use your time wisely at? How can you be the highest and best version of you on every, any given day? How, if you have to work, do you continue to go into an environment that for you has become toxic and probably other people, but still navigate it and still elevate it? Okay, this is a part of my specialized expertise and it is the result of doing the proper light body work, properly clearing certain chakras, properly opening brand new ones and unplugging from the old paradigm because it's not going to support you. The only thing that's going to support you is your upper connections now. And yet you're still living here, but you're not expected to be dangling in space. Okay. It's time for the love that first woke you up to really start doing its job for you. And loving you, loving your spirit, helping your spirit gain much more and prepare and live the way that is for you, really. 
So are you having um, really intense emotions? You're going to see a rise in things like divorces, breakups, losses, job losses. Um, be cautious because here's how your higher self wants to help you. Your higher self wants to give you advance notice, advance warning of these things. When you're tapped into the true level, you don't see things that are like conspiracy theories. You see the things that are specific and pertinent for your life, for your side of your union, because that's what's meant by you have to do you. Pay attention to you and not what all the other children on the playground are doing, because history is yet again repeating itself. Can you break away from that karma? I hope so, because it's laying there bleeding on the ground and you don't need to be a part of it anymore. It's stinky and it'll smell like a corpse. It leaves a lot of corpses around, or it leaves people pretty much for dead, or it kicks them out of the jobs that are their livelihood that they count on. Don't be a victim to karma anymore, okay? So how can we best utilize this full moon energy? Well, watch for my upcoming class. The link is below, and join me, get my book, have a session, and mainly, Cut other people's slack and please understand we're all going through this, but maybe you're more aware and maybe you can be responsive and not reactive and therefore you're responsible. So I'm holding you responsible. <laughs> no, I'm teasing about that. But seriously, we have more awareness and we have things to do and you've had an awakening that you can do something with. So highest and best, and I hope to see you there. Have a great day. Bye.